Well, coral reefs are shrinking in the U.S. and around the world. Scientists in the Middle East are racing to try to stop the damage. And in some places, even reverse it. Ian Lee shows us how it works. Turning the tide on damaged reefs is a hands-on job. Scientists repair and revive corals in the waters of the Persian Gulf. But the ray of hope comes with a dark warning. By the end of the century, if we don't rethink the way we built, coral reefs could be extinct. Six years ago, the United Arab Emirates lost 70% of its corals when the water hit hot tub temperatures of nearly 100 degrees, which triggered coral bleaching. That's when reefs release the algae that gives corals their color, leaving them vulnerable to disease. Although it did wipe out a good portion of our corals, it also proved that the corals that we have are actually resilient. And those are the ones divers are searching for to give them some TLC in a coral reef nursery, a place with clear water, strong currents, and just the right amount of sunlight to help them grow strong again. We tried to grow them from very small fragments up to now some of them have reached the size of my fist. That's when conservationists move them back to their original reefs to keep thriving. Dubai is aiming to grow 1 billion artificial corals along a strip of beaches by 2040, a floating, living lab to help marine life prosper. Ian Lee, CBS News.